What's up guys, Prince Sports here. Word to the mass. Word to the media. When you going when you dis disrespect an all-time great or you wanna devalue or downgrade a basketball player from the past just to uplift, in this case, LeBron James, make sure the player that you're downgrading media is a player that fits the criteria of what you're talking about. You said LeBron James is going to surpass Kareem for the best all-time player. Uh, okay. Hold up, bring that back. What I meant to say is the media says LeBron James is a better all-around basketball player than Kareem on an all-time list. Greats. Stuff like that. Back to the video, man. Kareem was never known as a triple-double threat. Kareem ain't Oscar Robinson. He plays two ends of the floor. He scores, and he plays defense. He's a big. He plays the five position. He ain't, he ain't out there playmaking. No, he had, that's what he had Magic Johnson for, okay? Just because LeBron is going to surpass him on an all-time scorers list does not mean LeBron James is a better basketball player than Kareem. Kareem is a better winner. Kareem is a more individual, um, dominant player than LeBron James, prime for prime. Kareem has won more individual accolades than LeBron James, prime for prime. Kareem has won more chips, have better team success than LeBron James, prime for prime. Okay? And career-wise, you could make a case Kareem was winning since he picked up a damn basketball. The guy has won in every level of basketball. All right? So let's not move the goalposts. And try to downgrade Kareem just to uplift LeBron James. That's lesson number one, media. Okay? So, before you go about calling, you know, or trying to push Kareem to the side, make sure the guy that you pushing Kareem to the side for has more individual accolades, more team success than Kareem. Let's start off with that first and foremost. Okay? Because you can't just leapfrog past certain players. That's my take on that. That's like saying Shaq has more dunks than Steph Curry. And Steph Curry's not even a dunker. What are we talking about? Okay, Shaq could dunk the ball. He dunks it more times than Steph Curry. What Act two, my second problem with the media today. Since when has the NBA rewarded a player for just individual stats alone without winning. So now we could bypass winning and we're just going to look at players' individual numbers. That's all what it comes down to. Winning don't matter for nothing. Winning don't mean nothing. Since when you play sports to not win basketball games, winning should always be the prime objective to playing a game. You play a video game to beat the game to win, okay, and to be challenged. Just like sports is to be competitive. So if LeBron James is an MVP candidate, then Dame Dollar is an MVP candidate. Then all these other guys putting up big time numbers. Shea Gildas Alexander is an MVP candidate. Because I could go on and on about how many guys that's putting up just as much better stats than LeBron James. Luka and Giannis just went back to back with a 50 point games. Giannis scored 50 points in 30 minutes. Everybody putting up monster numbers this season anyway. So anybody could be an MVP if we're just talking about stats. Give me something that separates you from from the whole pack. Stats and winning. Because you know what? Being an elite player means nothing if you can't win. When I mean win, I mean be a title contender. Doesn't mean you have to win the championship. Okay? A winning franchise is more than just winning a title. And vice versa. You can win, but if you're on a winning team and you're not dominant, you're not elite, that hurts you too as an individual player, as a superstar. So you need both. Both of them can't coexist by themselves. They have to coexist together, okay? Dominance equals winning. Winning equals dominance. Yeah, you gotta, they, had, they gotta have both. You gotta have both. No excuses. So as long as LeBron James playing at that high level that he is, he's gonna get criticized. Especially when you're playing with another all-star. You don't get no free passes. Nobody gets free passes. Period. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Then it's act three. My final problem is with you, not just the media, you slurpers, you LeBron James apologists, okay? 
Why is it that LeBron James himself said this? For our team to win, so, you know, it's, it's a day-to-day -day thing. Last two, this gentleman here in the front, and then we'll take Joe Barton. LeBron, how conscious are you of the scoring record while you're playing the games? Not at all. Um, I didn't get to this point in my career by thinking about, you know, you know, records or how many points I have or whatever the case might be. I just played the game the right way. Um, you know, I, I approach the game every night on trying to be a triple threat by, you know, scoring, rebounding, assisting, you know, defending, you know, and then, um, you know, later, you know, made the chips fall where they may. So, um, I think maybe if I get, when I get close, super duper close, maybe it'll be in the back of my mind or in the front of my mind, but, um, I don't put that, I don't ever put that type of pressure on myself. I just go out and play. <laughs> so you heard that, right? The very same guy that you defend, that you get on your knees for, and you make excuse after excuse for, he agrees with me. You know what? If he saw my videos and he saw me criticizing him, LeBron James would give me a handshake. If he was a real one, he'd give me a handshake and say, you know what, P? You're right. I got to close these games out. No, these stats are cool and all, but at the same time, they equal nothing if I can't close the game out. Three and a half quarters don't get you a full dollar, my brother. Half of the rent don't pay your full rent. You got to pay the full balance. You got to scrape the plate. And if you're playing with another all-star that presumed to be top 10 long with you, and you're playing at an MVP, top five best player in the world level, and you can't win games... There's a problem with that. I don't care about no excuse. There's a problem with that. LeBron even just told you himself. Those stats come second. That's not even on my mind. My mind is to win. Okay? Now, I don't know if he's bullshitting or not, but he said the right things. So that's all that matters. Because that's all I could go by on what a man says. All I got in this world is my nuts and my, world, my word. And I don't break that for nobody. Right? So, if that's the case, then we got to go judge LeBron James based off the words that he say he is. You know, if you tell me you about that life, then you about that life. Simple as that. And he just simply told you, LeBron apologists, you deniers, that you're wrong. Okay? So, you defending a guy that don't even agree with your take. Okay? All that ass kissing that you do, still... Won't get you props with a guy like that. Because he don't, if he a real one, he don't want a bunch of people around him kissing his ass. Who wants that? You want a bunch of people pushing you to the limit. Telling you right from wrong. Telling you, hey, you fucking up. You need to step your game up. I never get anything in life by people but just kissing my ass. It's fake love. It's fake support. And it don't do nothing for you at the end of the day. So, with that being said, LeBron apologists, you just got ethered. By your own player that you're defending. Sports out. Peace.